My goal is not to be tied to the machine. One of the things I found out through years of study and doing this and living off my investing profits, I didn't have any, I didn't have any sources of income. That was it, was the idea of letting stocks trend for you. I really found out, man, if they're not trending, get the heck out. And better yet, I'll tell you something that'll drive you nuts. You buy a stock at 30 bucks a share, it goes up to 31 or 32, and you're like, man, this is great, I'm taking my gain. And the stock keeps on going up to 38 and 40 and 42, and you can never find a place to get back in it. That is maddening. So, one of the things we're really big on at Mission Winners is finding clean and simple entries. And I'm going to show you some today. Clean and simple entries and let those suckers work. Let them trend. What can they trend on? They can trend on the 50-day, they can trend on the 21-day exponential moving average, or they can trend on the 8-day. Look at that. I can still do it. See that? 8. Pretty good. There's still hope for me. Anyway, wouldn't you hate if I did the 8-day? The, the no. The 8-day exponential moving average. Let them trend. When a stock's approaching a pivot, I may take it down to hourly, 30-minute, and or 10-minute, and look for that volume surge. And that helps me. No volume, no buy. Patrick, cut to the chase, show me some charts. So here you go. I'm going to show you some. All these were past key list stocks. All right? And I'm going to slide them into the screen. Fang. Look at that clean entry right there. Look at the volume surge. It was in a leading group. Earnings were up 146% when it was bought. That's good money right there, folks. That's really nice. Sell some in the strength. Sell more losing the ADMA. Sell the rest losing the 21. Done. Here we go. Advanced micro devices. Look at that nice breakout right there. Look at the volume pickup here and here. Earnings up. This is the earnings we were looking at before it broke out. Isn't that nice? Here's a recent one. Still in it. Shutterstock. Look at the volume pickup. Earnings were up 88%. This is my own quote. And this is what I've said at the IBD meetup for 12 years. I said it. If you're not humble, the market has a lot of ways to humble you. Just get in line with it. Don't impose your will on it. You'll be better for it. Vive, breaking out right through these tops here. Volume surge, clean and simple line. Nice march, just trending up. This is the 50 day simple. This is the 21 exponential. This is the eight exponential. Look at that trend. That's beautiful. Here's another one for you. Right there, Abercrombie and Fitch. Just a simple base. It's nothing fancy. The simpler, the better. This stock had either great earnings and or great sales when we bought it. I will tell you that. This is from 2018. How about that? Somebody says, that's ancient history. Here we go. Roku right there. Look at that. Sales were up 51%. Well, you can see it. There it is. I mark these things up because when I teach this, I want the VIPs to see this. You know, I think it's very important. There it is. Here's another one for you. Okta. Look at that clean and simple base. Look at the volume pickup. Lifts through here and it just marches. Nice steady, nice steady grind. This whole move, I'll make it a little bit bigger. This whole move through here, did we look at five minute charts? No, we don't need to. Now, what was a telltale sign on this chart? This bar right here, see that volume? Gaps up, runs up, reverses down. That was a day to sell some. Last share sold here. Finally, what did it do on this day, folks? Let me make it bigger for you. Check this out. This is so cool. Price and volume. Look at that. Look at the selling volume coming into it. See that red bar? Finally, they'd had enough and they took it. But you know what? That's good money with low stress. Here's another one for you. And again, I'm just trying to show you what to look for. Match group right here. Clean and simple. Look at the volume coming into that sucker. Everybody sees it. You know what I call that? That's sweet potato pie right there. Here's another one for you. Some of you probably know this stock. Zoom. It's on the key list right here. There's a spot right there. Isn't that nice? Look at the volume pickup. And it marches. And you know what it's done since then. And I'll do one more for you. In mode. In mode from 2019. Look at the volume pickup. Look at the base. Right here's the spot. Right here's the spot. And it just marches. 
Not a huge move, but you know what? A nice steady move. A nice steady move. So again, come back here and circle around. What's the moral of the story? Focus on clean and simple stuff. You know, you can sit there and talk about the cup and handle. Well, I got to be honest. If you wait for the cup and handle formation, you're going to starve to death. You've got to have a couple of patterns that are easy on the eyes, that are easy to see, that everybody can see. By so doing, it increases the odds that A, they see it, and B, they'll buy. Neo, clean and simple base, lifts on volume. You buy it right there. Look at that. Neo, clean and simple base, breaks out on volume. Buy it. Neo, clean and simple base, breaks out on volume pickup. Buy it. Has either great earnings and or great sales when we bought it, and it's in a leading group. And if you can do that, you will be light years ahead of mo most people. And the last point I'll make, I'm going to put my ugly mug back on there. How's this sound? Combed my hair for this video. <laughs> no, just want to share this with you. Please, when you're involved with investing, look for a really clean and simple entry spot. That's easy to see, that a sixth grader could see. And this will help you. Price is good above that point. The line, it's good above and it's bad below. What do you do? If it does that, sell some, sell it all. Keep your losses small. Can't stress that enough. If you keep your losses small and you control risk and let the stocks trend for you when you get a good one, you'll make money and you'll do it with less stress, which is really good. You can say, why are you hung up on stress? One of my degrees is in psychology and I'll tell you this, stress derails thought processes. It clouds our thinking, it clouds our judgment. So you know what we do? We try to do things to minimize stress. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.